Three. Well, welcome everybody to the Mom and Dad Talks, where our favorite two people are Mom and Dad. It's just us starting out the new year here. How y'all doing? Oh, we're doing just fine. Just fine. Just fine. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, great new year coming out here. You are grandparents. Amen for that. Well, that's Christmas, wasn't it? Yes, a very exciting one. So, so, so today, um, we're going to talk about um, how do you spot a bad idea? A lot of people out there, you know, judgment is just not their thing uh, from time to time. And so they can't spot a, a, a good or bad idea, but they tend to go for the bad ones, you know, for various reasons and stuff like that. Um, because it just, you know, when it's too good to be true, the, the old saying is, it's probably too good to be true, but there's a thought process that actually has to go into spotting a bad idea. So let me talk to you, dad. How do you spot a bad idea? For me, you have to listen closely to what the person is saying and don't, and, and, and when they're giving too many promises that you're going to make millions of dollars and so forth. There's got to be a catch to it. Mm-hmm. Like I said, if it's too good to be true, it is too good to be true. Uh, uh, a friend of ours wanted us to invest in a financial program. And it sounded good at first. Mm-hmm. But then at the end, he said, well, I want you to take out a loan so that I can get paid first. And to me, that sent up a red flag. Mm-hmm. Why are you going to get paid first? And there's no promise of making any money. Mm-hmm. And that just didn't make sense to me. Mm-hmm. It's a bad idea. Mm-hmm. Now, your mother has a very, very good, she has the gift of uh, perception. Mm-hmm. And she can perceive when an idea is not good. Um, there was an investment in, in a can I say it? Uh, mm-hmm. of, can't say it. Can't say it, man. Investment in a in a program where you would sell uh, a natural drug, a natural yeah. product. Mm-hmm. Okay, and to me, it just it didn't make sense at first. Mm-hmm. My brothers were in it, and you know all the church members were in it, and it just didn't make sense. Well, lo and behold, this came out in stores and. People can buy it much cheaper in a store than they could from us. <laughs> all I can say is thank you, Lord. Thank you. And and for, for a lot of people, for me, you know, when, when people come at it, everybody's always trying to say, hey, I see you know people, so I want to get you to do something for, for me, right? And realistically, when it doesn't reciprocate back to you getting a benefit, that's a sign of a bad idea. Mm-hmm. But it doesn't reciprocate in the standpoint of, hey, you know what? This also helps you because, you know, people, oh, yeah, you, they'll make you dream of riches. They'll make you do all this stuff. They, they get into your senses and say, man, don't you want to be rich? Don't you want to live like this? Or, you know, I got these famous people that work under me and stuff. And so what happens, you get caught up into the moment and not think about, well, how does how do you make money? How does this actually happen? And we start asking the, the questions deeper you start seeing holes in it. I, I remember some of my friends, they um they got into this one program and they could never tell me what product they were delivering. You just yeah. need to get in it. And I'm just like, well, you, you need to come to the thing to understand it. Well, if you can't explain it to me, then I, I, I'm not going for it. Because if you can't do it, this other dude you're trying to get me to is probably not going to get me to. And and like I said, you know, um, a lot of, a lot of pyramid schemes out there and some people get into them. Some people, whatever the case may be, some people make, but, but, you know, majority of people don't become rich off of it. There's a reason for that, you know? And, and so, like I said, being able to spot that, you know, there's nothing wrong with working hard and getting an honest pay for what you do, right? Mm-hmm. Your gift makes room for you. If you develop your gift and, and, and you make sure that, you know, you, you don't, don't cast your pearls before swine with that gift. And generally speaking, it makes room for you and you'll stand before a great man and it takes care of you um, and save your money. The, 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 the fastest way um, you can probably even make it, folk, is that, you know, save your money up and invest it in, in things that actually make money for you. What do I mean by that? Uh, Ramsey has a great program and he talks about that. And I think people need to get that program and look at it. It's been working for people all the time. I know I looked into it. 
and and folk, you know, um, I put, put my stuff in uh, with money markets and all that other stuff. But you know, I started to do stuff just for myself and realize, you know what? At the end of the day, I was just investing in companies that I bought from. Mm-hmm. Very simple. Uh, companies that said they're going to be around for a long time and it's doing well for me right now. Praise the Lord. And thank you, mom and dad, for giving me this seed money to do that. And it's panned off. I just took Warren Buffett's philosophy. If it's a company that you can understand and what they do and you know they're going to be around for a while, why not invest in it, especially to give out dividends? And folk, do be intellectual uh, on this stuff because, like I said, you know, um, you guys have been hit with, you know, uh, other companies that come to you. <laughs> with this and you're like i remember oh i've been I, I tried that it didn't work and a lot of people because you have to sell to other people to get it and anytime you have to do that um you know generally speaking you know unless you have a product or unless you like selling um mm-hmm. you know i, I guess I, this, that's just my personal opinion so well, i remember there there was a, a person that wanted us to invest in a in a uh liquid that you put in your car that would guarantee you five more miles per gallon. Mm-hmm. Or in your gas tank, give you five more miles per gallon. And I started looking at this and, uh, and I said, you know, that liquid looks familiar. It was cooking oil. So you know, I said, here, let me, let me, let me look at it. And, and she would never let me look at it. Well, let me taste it. She would mm-hmm. never let me taste it. And it was cooking oil. It's like, now that is really something. You know, uh, they say, what was it, P.T. Barman said, there's a sucker born every minute? Yeah. And, and, and like I said, people, it, it starts with the one thing. There's nothing, that, the old-fashioned hard work and saving your money up. Mm-hmm. There's something to it, folk, and using your gift to make room for you, and you cultivate that gift, and, and it usually works out better for you. So I just want to encourage people, um, you know, yeah, what are you going to say, Mom? When I save money, I don't even worry about losing money. Uh, yes. <laughs> yes. But I know it's for my benefit, and I will be you, it for me only, and I don't have to worry about anybody taking it away from yes. me, lo- losing it for their for their benefit. So. Mm-hmm. And, and, the, and the best pro, uh, the best program to be financially secure is found in Malachi. Mm-hmm. Yes. Pay a faithful tithe and offering. Yes. You have- so many blessings, you won't have room enough to receive them. So that is the best financial plan I have ever seen in my mm-hmm. seven years of life. Hey, it kept me out of trouble. I never got in trouble paying a faithful tithe and offering because whatever I had left, I could afford. That's right. That's right. So, so, it, it, so, like I said, folks, we'll talk about tithe and offering next time on Mom and Dad Talks here. Um, so we can explain that philosophy because there's a lot of thoughts about that and I think that would be a real good one when we bring that up here. so folks you know today new year new life if you've been bringing to bad ideas bad ideas try to think differently hopefully um, look at things differently and, and really pay attention to what's saying there on that so until next time we'll see you on mom and dad 